Hello everybody. Before this video begins, I want to take a moment to thank my sponsor, Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly service that delivers a box of goodies to your door with a monthly theme. April's theme for me was Showdown, providing me with an original Avengers 3D comic stand, an Ant-Man t-shirt, exclusive Aquaman coin, Godzilla art print set, and a Battlestar Galactica target poster. It even came with a nifty Showdown pin. If you want to pick yourself or someone you know, a Loot Crate followed the link in the description down below and use the code tide time to get yourself a discount also there was this contest for a chance to play with ninja and they gave me a red bull so that's awesome hello everybody welcome to this amazing game of death garden today we're playing inked using the shield ability uh which is one of the least useful powers i think it's it's got like some of the it's just outclassed by everything else um and the reason we're going to use it is because it does have use, even though it is outclassed. For example, if you try to run a team of all healers, uh, the heals don't stack very well on top of each other, but shields do. And you can shield someone at full health. You can do a lot to help somebody uh, with how long the shield does last. Um, so protecting your team is very easy to do with this compared to having to always shoot them while they're being chased. If you're with them, shield them, walk away, and you get quite a decent bonus. The big thing about shield is that it's instantaneous. Heals do have to be applied over time, even though it's a short time, just a couple of seconds. It does make all the difference. Like being able to instantly apply 60 protective health at max level is huge. So it's a big thing. One of the other things is you'll notice this mask I'm wearing. You're going to ask, why don't I have it on my inked and inked? It's a special one from a convention. You have to find a code online for it. Uh, someone named Scourge gave me the code... Uh, while this game first came out, so I've had this mask for a very long time, and I do like it so very much. Uh, so I do wear it on Inked when I get the possibility and chance to do so. So with Inked, we are running Damage Dodger and Keep Hanging On. One of the biggest things about Inked is that she's all about damage reduction. A lot of her perks uh, provide damage reduction, and her two passives that are always active, one gives her 5% more health, the other one gives her 10% more max stamina, and it's just great. Overall, she's a tankier character, and she also has the ability of Camo as a secondary power, so if you don't like shield, she does have one of the most powerful abilities in the game that you can take advantage of, and we're just going to shoot everybody there. Everyone's got a shield. And even though that's not going to pay off immediately, like, nobody's really going to get use of these shields. I did get experience for shooting everybody. Uh, it's friendly effects. And I just needed to find another box, but they, uh, they took it from me. So, oh, trying to I think I took all the blood there. And go ahead and grab some of this. Who's the hunter? Let's see if we can sneak. They got caught. We're going back. Oh my god. Take them! I shielded them, so uh, he's gonna die for that. Oh my gosh, why are we both playing shield? Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Give me the blue. shielded both of us. I need to go find some blood. This is getting pretty intense. Oh, why are we shooting me? Don't shoot me. I still got my shield on. I'm okay. Shielding is helpful. I like it. It's definitely not your normal. Oh, is he gonna die? He's dead. When somebody dies, it's over. There's nothing your shield's gonna do to bring him back. So just leave him be. Only well, got a challenge done. Alright, so I want to try to shield her and myself, but she keeps moving away from me, so I'm just going to shield her. Get the experience for helping her out, and then move on with life from there. Dude, a lot of people don't know you can pick yourself up with a red box when you're downed. Uh, don't forget that. It's very useful. Just walk, crawl up to a red box, use it, because you can, and it's very helpful. Um, lots of people don't know about that. 
I'm gonna try to be protective of my ally. As long as he doesn't run in a straight line and die before I can get there. Oh god, this is not a... Oh. Oh, this is bad. Normally, Hunter's Instant execute because they don't know better. And this Hunter is actually really smart, which tells me he's likely skilled. Yeah, so we gotta help. Alright, he's got shields going on. I need to deliver my blood. We need to get going. He's gonna die! Oh, he's so done. That'll be third down. If this guy's going for maximum uh, effectiveness, he's going for five downs. Um, a lot of hunters do instant execute. I personally don't like that myself. Okay, so with this shield, I can just keep insta-shielding myself. And uh, because they got the golden crate... was so strong. Broken. So I'm using my power shield to uh, to deal heavy damage to the turret and then to also take it out with two other bolts. Uh, it just helps me on resources a little bit because using, I think it's like seven bolts take it out unless you're fog is this rough I'll try to get some aggro over here seem like he's taking the bait so I'm gonna shield myself just grab some more shields and then start delivering uh, do mark your posts if they're not highlighted white it's a really helpful thing to allies so they understand where they're at hopefully uh, things have gone well for my allies this isn't necessarily a team game, but it's very helpful when you do work together. Everybody benefits. That, now she knows. I'll refresh that shield, take as much as I can. I'm gonna go back to C. This is really good. I haven't come across a hunter who's who's done well and done the additional uh, downing and not executing versus just going for the instant executes. Um, now, if a hunter is in trouble, like this hunter is about to be, we're, we're getting pretty close to being done. If he's having trouble, he should just start instant executing. If he didn't down anybody, like his next down has to be a kill. Um, we're already just hitting 90%, and he's got no kills, and I need to go help out, so... That's what I'm going to do. We're going to run over there. I need to get to the high ground, see if I can shoot from over here. God, I can. Try, though. Yeah. He's likely going for that kill. Yeah. I'm time to start swapping out for some blood. This blue box up. going to run towards the exit. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna run for the further one. I might have a better chance. I'm gonna shield myself now. I don't think I need another box. I'll be okay. Poor guy. I'm gonna shield this guy too. There we go. Hot damn! Only 4,000 experience. I probably could have done better. Um, that is a problem with shield. I can actually probably help an ally more if I had, if it was like communication and I was with friends, if I was the shielder, it'd be much easier for me to get more points helping people getting chased because I can uh, help a healer keep them alive or help them while they're in camo. Get all my challenges. One of the biggest things is I, I can usually score a little higher than this. Team actions are a little hard to get up because it's hard for it to detect. Like they got to be getting shot and they got to lose a lot of that shield and that's when it'll start paying off. Uh, but otherwise, that 
That hunter did pretty good. He needed to execute a little faster, though, because he was a little too nice. Um, as a hunter, it, it's up to you to determine when to make the execute. A lot of hunters will just go for it, and that, to me, tells me they're not very skilled. So I don't get a lot of skilled hunters, and if if they do this and they start like letting them go, like that first time I got caught, I was just so used to them going for the execute. Um, you be wary of the hunters that do not instant execute you because they are the ones to be terrified of. They're the ones who know how to play with their food. Now this one, he got a little unlucky. We weren't survive with friends or anything or scavenge with friends or, you know, we were randoms as far as I know. I'm, I'm not in any group. And, uh, Definitely, we still got through. We beat him. He got two kills. He got 4,000 points. That's not terrible for two kills, but he definitely wasn't getting an abundant amount of downs either. He was struggling a little bit. This team worked really well with each other, and I think it went really well for just being a completely random team. So that's the inked shield power. That is probably the weakest you can be. Uh, to be fair, though, it did save me during chase. It kept me alive. The instant replenishment of a shield is very strong. Um, my shield isn't the strongest right now either. It's only at 5, so it's like 45 hit points. I think it maxes out at 60 hit points. So it's, it's not that much, but it really does help when others are using other powers with shield. Shield is a great complementing power to every other power, but by itself, not particularly strong especially if someone else is running shield just like how if there's multiple healers multiple healers you can't stack the heals once somebody applies a heal there's a buff on you for just a second or two if another one applies it pretty much removes your buff and puts the new one on and refreshes it and it doesn't properly stack so if your heal heals for 60 shooting twice in a row does not heal for 120 um which is a shame but that's about it for the uh shield uh not my recommended power i do suggest camo if you want to go try hard but it is a power that works it functions it's just not the best so thank you everybody for watching if you like what you saw here don't forget to like comment subscribe and this video was available for patrons early on patreon.com please do feel free if you want to help out the channel follow the link in the description a dollar a month really does do wonders to keep the channel going. And that's about it. So thank you all. And as always, good game.